How big is your house? Is it really big? Is it a McMansion? Is it somewhat supersized? I'm Elise Glink and welcome back to expertrealestatetips.net. We're here at the Frank Lloyd Wright Unity Temple in Oak Park, Illinois, where we've had Sarah Suzanka, the author of the Not So Big House series, talk to us a little bit about why big houses sometimes aren't quite as satisfying as smaller ones. Before Not So Big House came out, so nobody knew me from Adam yet, I had, that's the summer of 1998, this, my book came out in September, in the summer of 1998, I think 10 different people independently asked me, why are, why are we building these bigger and bigger houses? What's going on? You're an architect, tell me. You know, it was like people were beginning to recognize there's something out of balance here. I don't understand why do people do this? So it was, the time had come for a collective questioning of, isn't there a better way? And uh, so, so that's been continuing over the past 10 years. We've got a confusion between size and that sense of satisfaction. And what I've talked about in all of my books related to spatial design, the Not So Big House series, and now what I'm beginning to talk about in relation to how we live our lives, is that the quality of what we do, the way we engage, is really at the core of what satisfies. And so a house that's beautiful and that inspires you is 100% more delightful to your heart than something that's just merely big. We can actually see it in all sorts of um, aspects of our culture. Same thing with food. You know, surely a bigger plate of food is going to satisfy us more than a smaller plate of food. And we're gradually discovering that, well, that's not true if the quality and care of its making gives you this moreness of flavors and combinations that make you feel inspired. We get this inundation in our culture that more is better. Whether we're talking about children and the number of toys that they get, or the size of the teddy bear, you know, whatever it is, we end up being given these models of, of magnitude. And so we, we are trained into it. Um, more so in this culture than in a lot of cultures, but I, as you look around the world today, you see that there are many cultures that when they're given the opportunity for bigness, they go for it. It's a common human misunderstanding that bigger is better. It's not, it doesn't satisfy, but we only find that out after years and years of pursuit of that which we can't seem to find. 